you will never be able to rest in the Lord if you are not carefree. Do you know that the Lord does not want anything bothering you? That's why his word tells us to cast all of our cares on him. Jesus wants us carefree. A few years ago, as I was thinking about casting all my care on Jesus and how simple this promise is, and really all of God's promise promises are simple, I asked this of the Lord. Why did it take me years to get this? Why does it take us years to let go of things and give them to you? It's so simple. Cast your care, leave it with you. You take care of it all. I'm just getting this now after being saved for many years. Why, Lord? And here is what I heard in my spirit. All of my promises are very simple, and that is your problem. You think they are too simple to be true. Is that your problem also? Do you think God's promises are too simple? Do you feel you can't, you, you just can't give your struggles to Jesus and leave them with him to deal with? Do you feel that you have something more to do? Don't you see that everything that you're struggling with, God's going to continue to let you struggle with it until you come to him for help? But actually, it's more than just coming to him for help. It's leaving it with him. I think that's what our problem is. We give him our problems, but then we can constantly take it back. Every time we worry, every time we try to figure out our problems again, we've taken it back. Every time you give a struggle to him and you take it back, God will again let you struggle with it. And can you see why so many of us are still struggling? We wonder why God is not helping us, but he is helping us by letting us come to the end of ourselves, meaning we have nothing left to fight until we give our struggles to God and leave them with him He's going to let us struggle with it. John 6, 63 says, It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The flesh doesn't profit us at all. And that's our soul. That's our things we want to do instead of letting Jesus do it. The words I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. God lets us fight our battles until we give them to him and leave them with him. So we learn that our flesh, which is our self-effort, doesn't profit us at all. Hebrews 4.16, I'll leave you with this. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need.